what will happen to the cabbage leaves after two days? Write your prediction. A prediction is where you use your prior knowledge and experiences of anything in your life and you use those to try and guess what you think will happen at the end of the experiment. So in this case, what do you think the cabbage leaves will look like at the end of the experiment. Do you think that the blue food colouring will turn the cabbage leaf blue? Do you think that the white vinegar will change the colour of the cabbage at all or will it stay the same? People make predictions all the time and it happens when you don't even know it. So for example, the weather forecast is a prediction of what they think the weather will be like tomorrow or the day after and it's in the future. It's important that when we are making our own predictions and writing them that we use facts to inform our writing. So that's the first thing that we need to make sure we include in. The next thing is to use uh, to tell me why you think that it will happen. And lastly, evidence. So this links to the why section. So, for example, I think that the cabbage leaf that's in the blue food colouring will begin to turn blue because plants suck up water through the stem and the blue food colouring is mixed into the water. Okay, first I collected all of my ingredients. So I had my five jars ready, the five cabbage leaves, my water and the five ingredients that I'm going to use to attempt to change the colour of the cabbage leaves. So I chose blue food colouring. I blended in the, going from the left, I've got blue food colouring, blended blueberries, blended beetroot, um, blended pickled cabbage and some white vinegar. Next I added 125 ml of water to each of the five jars. Once I added the water I put one tablespoon of each of the five ingredients into the jars. So one tablespoon of blue food colouring, blended blueberries, blended beetroot, blended pickled cabbage and a tablespoon of the white vinegar. This is what it looked like after I'd added all the ingredients and I placed each of the cabbage leaves into the jars making sure that all of the cabbage leaf stems were touching the bottom of the jar. This way I ensured it was a fair test. There was the same amount of water, the same amount of um, the coloured ingredient and all of the cabbage leaf stems were touching the bottom of the jar. The only variable is the size of the cabbage leaves. So this is the final result of the cabbage leaf with blue food colouring, the blended blueberries, the blended beetroot, blended pickled cabbage, and the white vinegar.